Hi everyone, my name is Eric Wynn. Uh, I'm the current Executive Vice President for UVSA Midwest, and I am graduating from UW-Madison this May. Uh, I'm here to talk about something serious today, um, April 30th, the fall of Saigon, and what it means to me. For me, it's always been the day that when growing up, you know, we always kind of recognized it, not really understanding what it was. Uh, my parents were just told, they just told me that was, that was the day we lost the war. Uh, not really understanding how significant that was. Uh, it was just something I kind of brushed off as a kid. But as I got older, I started to realize how significant it is, was, still, still is. Um, and I started realizing it the more and more I realized how hard my parents' lives were and uh, how much they've sacrificed for me, my sisters, my family, my cousins. Um, my parents, you know, they, they lived in South Vietnam. My mom was uh, from Tolpno, my dad was from Phang Rang. My dad left Vietnam right after the fall in 75, and my mother left in 77, I believe, uh, where she then stayed. Uh, they both stayed in the Philippines at the G camp, and uh, my dad came to the U.S. earlier than my mother did, uh, and they actually met in the U.S., but uh, they've, uh, they've led pretty uh, interesting lives. They've worked every single job you could ever imagine, from, like, you know, steel workers to, you know, uh, commercial fishing boat uh, fishers and owners but uh, currently you know they work about 67 hours a week at a store that we own uh, open and close all day every day and six days a week uh, and I see how much they work and how much they care for my sisters and I and I know that you know they do it out of love because you know, they love us and they never really complain about working you know because like they know that it's like something necessary but uh i know that whenever i'm, I'm out at the store helping you know i'm always like moaning and be like oh i'm so tired i just want to go home but they do this every pretty much every day of the year uh, and they never you know they never really complain about it and uh, it's for me April 30th is the, a symbol of a day that a symbol for the love my parents have for me because of all the sacrifices they made to make my life as wonderful as it is for allowing me to have these opportunities to attend to universities, to, you know, volunteer uh, for nonprofits, to hold positions in VSA, UVSA Midwest, to do extracurricular activities, to, you know, just to do whatever I like uh, without ever asking anything back. Uh, and, you know, I really, really don't tell them that I appreciate them enough, but, uh, I hope that they know that I do, and, uh, yeah, and, you know, even though April 30th is a, uh, historically, kind of a sad day for us, VQ, uh, to me, it's, it symbolizes not everything that happened on that day, uh, but everything that happened after that day for my parents and me. The good, the bad, and you know, yeah, I think that's that's all I have to say. Um, yep. So sorry if this didn't really make sense or it, you know, was boring. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. Okay. Well, hi everybody. Uh, you know, enjoy your April thirtieth. Uh, you know, say hi to your parents. Call them. I won't say that you love them or anything because you know I love these are for white people according to Lotsu. But uh definitely 
let them know that you appreciate that the things that they have done, uh, the sacrifices they have made to get you where you are now. Because uh, I definitely think I, or I definitely will. All right, I'm just rambling now. Bye.